All right, everybody, welcome to another episode of Talk to the World. I am Be Myself. And right now, I want to talk to the world about what I love about Google Reviews. Okay? Google Reviews is a great place to go get information about a business that you might be interested in working with maybe a restaurant you want to go to, uh, maybe a show you want to see, you want to learn about a theater, you want to figure out if there's parking, you want to ask questions. It's like a great space for people to share knowledge about locations as well as an opportunity to find out what somebody experienced at a location and it just to me it makes life easier i love it and i am proud uh i'm a proud google contributor and what i think is the most oh just the greatest the the best aspect of google reviews is it gives me a voice i grew up in a time where businesses were able to uh, deny certain customers tables i remember there was a famous restaurant Uh, i grew up in chicago there was a famous restaurant in chicago and this restaurant was such a hot spot and anytime someone went there they were so excited they were getting dressed up they were dolled all up and oh my god it was just a big deal the men would say you know oh you know i'm gonna take you to such and such a place and oh the woman would just have to tell everybody oh i'm going to so-and-so on saturday night and my mother was getting ready to go to this restaurant with this um this man that she she was in a relationship with and you know it had grown to the point where he's like you know i'm gonna take you here for you know our anniversary and she went shopping she bought shoes i can remember how her shoes looked to this very day but when she got to that restaurant they were not denied seating because it was a law, um, you know, on the books at that point that, you know, you had to, you know, seat all people. If you if you were a business service in a community, you had to seat or, you know, whatever you did, you, you had to treat all people equally. And this, of course, was not something that was the case when she was growing up. So, you know, I'm maybe 10 and i'm looking at this i'm excited for her i can't wait till she tells me how the restaurant looks you know i'm just excited she's lit up all week she even sewed a dress for herself to wear she did her hair she looked so beautiful okay when she left and when she came back i i was i was um still up my grandma my grandma uh kept me she took me over my grandma's house before they went out and then when she came to pick me up i was just like dumbo okay all ears just big flapping ears she told me that they could not get seated that they continually stood and stood and stood and watched other people walk in and get seated and they were just still waiting waiting to be seated and that eventually they realized that you know after asking them you know what's going on you know and then being told something that was you know not true it became obvious that they were not going to get seated so they ended up leaving and they went to a regular restaurant that they always went to and there was no internet there was no way for her to share the story uh with anyone but as time went on it got to the point where the African-American people in Chicago began to talk and say, oh, you know, I tried to go so-and-so and and I didn't get seated. Or, oh, you're going to so-and-so? Well, don't be surprised if they don't seat you. And, oh my gosh, 
I mean, as a 10 year old, I was just like, oh my goodness, this, this really was happening. This really happened to her. This how the world feels about this beautiful woman who's been nurturing and loving to me. She's intelligent. She, she, she's a, uh, volunteer at PTA and uh, she's a, a a wonderful member of the community but she couldn't get seated at this restaurant when I grew up and I became a grown woman and I was dating a guy guess what we go to the restaurant and guess what and this is in the late 80s to maybe 91 or something somewhere in there maybe 89 to 91 because i in my memory the guy that i'm dating i was dating him during this time frame but it was shortly before we ended up breaking up and do you know the same thing happened to us yes once again there was no internet. There's no real forum to have this discussion. Well, a little bit after that, you know, some people, they went and they told uh, some attorneys and, you know, they worked through it. And, you know, it, it got to the point where it became an issue with the city. And they, you know, faced fines and, you know, had to deal with this, uh, this in the news. And ultimately, they, they ended up closing down as far as I know. But with something like Google, I love being a contributor because if I go someplace and I have a great experience, I have a voice. I can say, oh, wow, I went to this place. It was a great opportunity. I, uh, I, 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 uh, I had great food or, or, oh, you know, this glass maker was awesome. They did, you know, a great job for, for making, you know, or replacing this glass. You get the point. I can share that. I have a voice. And then if I have an experience where, you know, it just seems like, mm -mm, odd things are occurring, you know, where like I couldn't get seated or, you know, or, or my service was bad, you know, and nowadays, you know, that I shared that story with you so that you could see why I'm so excited about it because I am still processing the knowing and the emotions and the experience of a life where you did not have a voice. And so there are so many people that I know who grew up with the internet they don't know life without the internet and guess what they don't even use their voices they have really great experiences with people they don't leave a review they have and when i say with people i mean a business you know an establishment or something or they have a really bad experience they don't leave a review it doesn't matter you know what culture you are the point that i'm sharing i took you through that emotional journey to express to you how people's lives can be affected when they don't have a voice and why someone would say you you know this is a great place to share and to you know google reviews is a great place to share and to give other people the opportunity to make a decision about what they will do or who they will you know um patronize based on understanding what other people's experiences were you know it doesn't necessarily have to be bad maybe maybe someone is physically challenged and they need to really know is there parking how far away is it it could be it could be a very, very hard journey for them they can just go on google reviews and say hey ask this question and then bam they've got an answer they have a voice. They can say, hey, you know, like raising your hand in class, I have a question, and someone else could say, oh, here, I have an answer, you know. Oh, wow, you know, I, I'm, I'm curious to know, you know, is this theater, uh, does it have a, 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 a cocktails, something like that? Do they serve wine? You know, I can't tell on their website. Oh, yes, sure. The last time I was there at intermission, we were, you know what I'm saying? This is, the, people have a voice now that 
they should definitely use. So I love Google reviews and I just want to talk to the world, you know, share your thoughts about, you know, how you feel about Google reviews. What is it that makes you like it? Why do you use it? Or, you know, hey, if you don't like Google reviews, talk about that too, you know, because I'm sure that Google will be happy to learn and, you know, see what is it about your experience and then implement things that can help because Come on, let's be real. Google is Google has transformed our lives. I mean, Google is so good at what they do until the they're they're sort of like, you know how people think a jacuzzi, they think every hot tub is a jacuzzi, like jacuzzi has just done such a great job with doing that that every the hot tub, you know, people will just say, "Oh, you know, they got a jacuzzi or oh, we're going to get in a jacuzzi and it's not a jacuzzi." It's not manufactured by jacuzzi. You see what I'm saying? That's how Google became. It, it, it was, there were browsers. There still are many browsers, you know, but nobody's, nobody goes on the other browsers uh, and says, hey, do it this way. Everybody says, Google it, Google it. So, you know, somebody could be, using you know whatever browser they're using and the term google it has become synonymous with do an internet search do an internet search people get it you know they may have another browser that they prefer to use but nobody says you know when someone says google it nobody says i'm not gonna be googling it you know i'm gonna use internet explorer why like, say that or uh, no, no. You know, I use Firefox. I, I, I'm not going to Google it. That, no, because they get it. Everybody's just like, Google it, Google it. And so many of us are going and, you know, going on a whole nother browser. But we are doing an internet search because the term Google it is synonymous with an internet search. You know why? Because Google gets down. Now, I don't have any, you know, ties to Google uh, I'm just, you know, middle-aged woman who, who talks to the world, <laughs> you know, that's what I do. And I do it because it makes me feel good. I don't get any compensation. It probably never will be ever, you know, get any compensation for probably not many people, but I'm going to still be Google reviewing. And I take my status as a Google contributor, I take it very serious because baby, when I go somewhere, I get a chance to talk to the world about how I feel about my experience. And that is, oh, it's just such a bomb to my soul and I love it. And I encourage you all, use your voice. Use Google reviews, get on there because I may end up needing to know something about a place that you've been to and then I can see your experience and I can make a more educated decision about how I'm going to use my time and how I'm going to use my dollars. All right. So thanks for this, uh, uh, you know, listen, thanks for this little time you gave me. I hope this helps you.